the other right, back again. Um, this time I'm going to continue doing a bit more work and tidying the works up a little bit. Uh, this one is due to the fact that I recently moved my mitre saw and so I had some uh, hinges and uh, dowels in little boxes, um, like little bucket boxes, but now they're getting in the way. So I'm going to make myself some little drawers so I can put hinges in um, and any little bits and pieces that can go in there. And they're going to go in this little area here. And if you remember from the last video, um, I said I had some thicker sheets of plywood which I was giving for a special project. This is one of the projects. Um, I've got 18mm, I've got 12mm and 9mm. The 18mm is going to be used for the uh, main frame. Then the 12mm is going to be used for drawers. And the 9mm will be used for the bases for the drawers. So what I'm going to do now is mark out the sheet. Um, I have got cutting plans which I can put on screen now. And so the cutting process begins. Recently I have been thinking about whether I should have got a track saw instead of the table saw originally. Um, overall it might have saved the space but I do like using the table saw. Drilling pocket holes on the side panels. How exciting. Here I'm starting to get up the drawers. I've also added what could be described as a kickboard to the main frame and you'll see that in a bit. Here I'm using Wolfcraft corner clamps which I do like using. The of all the corner clamps I've tried in the past, they are definitely my favourites.
See, there you go. There's that little kickboard I was talking about. I think these next few clips are self-explanatory. I just hope the concept doesn't run away with you. Got it. Run. Draw runners. Yay, he makes a joke. And if you're enjoying what you've seen so far in the video, please don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more projects coming up in the future and back to the rest of the video. I'm trying to work out the first drawers layout. Spoiler alert, it does change. You'll see I'm not actually going to glue the dividers into the drawer. Um, that's just so that in the future if I want to put different items in there I can easily change it and just take the, di the dividers out. The next thing I've got to do <coughs> is um, put a bit of trim on the front here. I've already got some pieces cut, um, but I need to decide whether I'm going to put a mitre across or just put it down so that that one goes to the top and there, like underneath it, so to speak. So as you can see I have gone for the mitre and these aren't glued yet. I'm just doing a further test fit to see how it looks. You will get to see that little blue tub in quite a lot of my videos when I'm gluing up. I just find it really useful.
and so there it is in its final place. Um, the drawers are a little bit stiff, but I may put some wax on, especially on this one and the top one, just to make it a little bit easier to pull out.